In psychology, there's a concept known as behaviorism. It's an approach that assumes all behaviors are responses to certain environmental stimuli. It's based on the knowledge that reinforcing a behavior encourages it while punishing it diminishes it. So, from 1961 to 1963, psychologist Albert Bandura conducted a series of experiments now known as the Bobo doll experiments. These experiments challenged behaviorists by asserting that behaviors can be learned through imitation. More specifically, the central question was, are aggression and violence learned behaviors? The experiment was simple. Young boys and girls would be selected and then segregated into control, aggressive, and non-aggressive groups. The children in the aggressive group would observe an adult verbally and physically harass a bobo doll. In contrast, the children in the non-aggressive group would see the adult model playing with the doll. The children were then left seemingly alone and allowed to interact with the bobo doll themselves. Their behavior was then observed. Additionally, Bandura would test this experiment two years later, with the adults being rewarded or punished for their aggressive behavior towards the doll. The main experiment's subjects were 36 boys and 36 girls selected from Stanford University's nursing school, and their average age was four years to four months. Each group consisted of 24 children, 12 boys and 12 girls, and the groups were further separated, with six children of each gender exposed to a model of the same gender, while the other six were exposed to a model of a different gender. After being individually tested, the children were exposed to the Bobo doll alone, and a combination of aggressive and non-aggressive toys. The results were as follows. Boys imitated same-gender models more often than girls. Girls with male models were more physically aggressive, while girls with female models were more verbally aggressive, though girls overall tended to be more aggressive verbally than physically. Children with a violent model were likely to imitate the exact behavior that they observed. Boys who observed a different gender model behave non-aggressively were more likely to exhibit violent behaviors than boys in the control group. Boys who observed male models act violently were more likely to exhibit violent behaviors than those who watched female models act violently. And in line with Bandura's prediction, boys were indeed confirmed to show more aggressive behavior than girls. Overall, 270 instances of aggression were observed in boys compared to 128 in girls. In his follow-up study, Bandura concluded that children who saw the adult models being rewarded for their violence were more likely to show violent behaviors themselves. In contrast, those who observed the models being punished for aggression were less likely to show aggression. Although the experiments seem conclusive, there are some well-founded criticisms of them as well, those including that the children were chosen from a narrow pool, being somewhat similar in their racial and socioeconomic backgrounds, creating selection bias. The results were also collected immediately, making it difficult to analyze long-term effects, and non-human dolls were used. Acting violently with a toy is different from acting violently towards a human. What can be learned from this is that although behaviorist ideals certainly did affect the experiments, when children saw models being rewarded, punished for violence, it is still arguable that children and humans can pick up a behavior through observation alone, setting a precedent in psychology.